Hey, how are you? Yes, great. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, yeah, so I just introduced myself. Uh, so I've never uh, met uh, uh, Kelly Allen before. So uh, my name is Philip from England, and uh, I'm an English teacher, and I started English teaching uh, 25 years ago, uh, over 25 years ago, uh, with breaks, so not continuously. Um, and I kind of, um, I've been teaching actually online for over 14 years. Wow. Um, and I started teaching online actually with, with uh, Skype. They used to have these big rooms called Skype class where you could have uh, actually a hundred people coming in or I think maximum and have a big, nice discussion. It was quite, it was, it was good fun at the time. So it brings you back to, uh, to, uh, my history, but go ahead, uh, introduce yourself, please. Hi, how are you? Um, like you said, my name is Kalia. Um, I have been teaching for a couple years now, but I'm making the transition over from, I guess, from teaching children and teaching dance um, now into transitioning over to teaching online and um, teaching different ranges of people um, of all different ages. And it's definitely been an interesting experience. Um, I feel um, I'm very happy and excited to meet you. That's number one. <laughs> Um, but I feel as though right now where I'm kind of struggling with in terms of teaching English, um, and especially for me being a native English speaker, um, I guess I want to say confidence. I guess it's more so confidence in the sense that I don't want to be um, mis misinforming my students. Um, and I want to also, I feel it also too is a challenge of mine is I want to make sure that my classes are extremely engaging and fun um, the same way they are when I'm teaching dance classes um, outside of the internet and how it seems very exciting and spunky. I want to um, transfer that same teaching aspect and same personality that I have into my actual online teaching. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's great. And, and uh, so are you, are you from America? I am. Yes, I am from America. I live in New Jersey. Well, I'm, let me rephrase that. I'm from New Jersey, but I currently live in Philadelphia in the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. And um, I love it. I'm a big city girl. And I do like to incorporate that into my learning because I do find that it is very fascinating for people all around the world to learn about American cultures. And especially for me in particular, living in a very big city that seems very exciting as well. And they love to hear about um, different events happening and my city is always pretty popular too. So always some type of craziness happening. Um, but yes, I do live in the States. Okay, that's great. And uh, yes, no, no, anyway, it's, it's funny because this uh, really takes me back uh, to uh, about 14 and, and maybe for one or two years, they did these big room school Skype calls back in the day, as we say. Um, and mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun. And uh, uh, actually, um, when I first started teaching online, uh, that was how I met uh, uh, a lot of uh, my students. So maybe I could recommend uh, this to you. I've just started it now, but all you need is uh, a, a Zoom, which is free. And then, uh, or maybe you need to pay a little bit of money to get a paid account. And then you can actually uh, Zoom it to, uh, uh, zoom it on to Facebook. Uh, so people can see it on Facebook or you can zoom it onto YouTube optionally. Um, and then people can join and it's kind of amazing technology. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I just thought I just thought of doing it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, and, and for yourself, you know, are, are you a uh, long term teacher or you uh, for English teaching or are you just getting into it or because I know you said you're a dance teacher already? Or? Yes. So I think that's also probably where some of the confidence comes um, from. And I and I use Skype also, too, I want to say. So I'm part of the back in the day group, too, because I used to love Skype. But um, not for teaching, but for just communicating. Um, but also too, like you were mentioning with Zoom, I kind of lucked out with me being a dance teacher. Um, my company does pay for the upgraded subscription. So I, I can do pretty much anything on here, which is great. But um, I have been teaching for a very long time. I've been teaching for about 10 years now, but it has been strictly dance. And though I feel as though um, I have a great teaching quality to me. And especially with the sense that I teach the youth and mentoring the youth, I feel like I have um, very nice boundaries and guidelines that can create a nice structured class. 
Um, but I think like you were saying, it's more the now transitioning the confidence and how I feel about teaching dance to that same confidence in teaching English. Yes, I, I mean, I think that, um, uh, I, I mean, for, first of all, like um, uh, anyone can teach English conversation. You don't need to uh, uh, have ever taught before, you know, I mean, I mean, so whoever that may be. So um, what, what I say is that don't, uh, but I mean, the thing is that when I started teaching online, I'd, um, uh, I, I'd kind of taught bits and bobs, not very intensively throughout the years. Um, and uh, I mean, first of all, it's beneficial for anybody to speak to a native speaker if they've got clear English and, you know, correct grammar kind of thing, um, whether or not they've taught before. Um, when uh, actually for teaching on, online, uh, it's quite uh, beneficial, I think, to uh, learn some sort of grammar and things like that. But funny enough, when I started teaching online um, about um, uh, over 14 years ago, back in uh, January 2007, I, I didn't actually realize that I didn't know grammar. Like I kind of, you know, I didn't know what there was to learn. I didn't know I didn't know it. Um, so, <laughs> and uh, uh, so one of the... Um, uh, first um, uh, students uh, I taught uh, was um, uh, 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 was actually uh, I, I even remember his name. You know, I, I, uh, mm -hmm. I, I but, but there's a reason for that. And uh, he came from a family of lawyers from uh, Brazil. I remember his first and last name uh, over 14 years later, even though I had only taught him a few classes. There is, mm -hmm. That's for good reason. And basically, uh, in the, in the uh, one of the first classes, he said to me. Um, uh, you know, like he said simply, what's a transitive verb? And I was like, well, I don't know. You know, so it was a group class, you know, I was like, oh, I, I don't know. And he was like, but I thought you were an English teacher and you're teaching English and you don't know what that is. It's like, well, maybe you've got a point, you know? Right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, actually, he, I think he was just trying to give me a hard time, probably. probably. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> he did actually, I think actually I checked um, uh, afterwards and he sort of emailed back, he emailed me saying, oh, I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I was just, you know, I was just trying to give you, you asked for advice or feedback and I was just giving it to, or, or I don't know, whatever. But anyway, but I think, I think it was a little bit kind of, uh, kind of putting me on the spot, but maybe it wasn't, he wasn't really, it was just his personality wasn't right. right. Trying to hard time. But anyway, uh, but I kind of um, thought after that, that's really embarrassing because, you know, I'm in this group of students and, uh, and I looked like really ignorant and probably I was. And uh, in fact, I'm sure I was, uh, although I could, you know, hold a conversation of course as a native speaker, so anyway, so then I did like a few years of grammar learning and things like that. So uh, what, what I'd say is that um, probably if you're going to be an online English teacher and, you, you know, you do, it's probably just best, like, for example, I've got a meeting today at um, eight o'clock uh, with the IB exam, uh, International Baccalaureate or something, and, and uh, through a teaching agency I work for, and um, uh, which is kind of a teaching portal. But anyway, where I got uh, most of my work at the moment. And uh, anyway, so, uh, but I was just completely transparent. I said, you know, I've taught for over 25 years with breaks, but I've never taught this before. Uh, so probably um, if you're going to, you know, start as a writing correction teacher or a speaking teacher, which is probably even easier uh, for anyone to do, probably just be completely upfront and say, look, I'm not a, uh, I'm not, I haven't, you know, I mean, uh, you may in fact know grammar, but a lot of native speakers, we haven't studied grammar. We just learn it intu intuitively, you know, from experience. Right. Um, how to speak. We, we don't know the terms or, or anything like that. So what I say is just uh, be completely transparent with them and say, look, uh, you know, I'm not a grammar specialist. Uh, I mean, I'm a grammar specialist, but I'm teaching for 14 years, but I wasn't when I started um, at all. I had zero knowledge, basically. And uh, so, um, and probably just be transparent, say, you know, I'm not a grammar specialist. However, I'm an age speaker. I know what's right or wrong, and I can correct you. I may not be able to give you the, the exact definitions um, and then, but also try and, um, I mean, but I was completely ignorant when I started teaching online, you know, and I used to say to people, oh, you know, uh, in the Skype class, whatever, oh, I'm a conversational method teacher. Yeah, I didn't even know I didn't know grammar. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. um, so, and uh, so, yeah, so basically, um, yeah, j just uh, probably what I recommend is, is, uh, you know, j just be completely upfront. So, you know, uh, I, I'm a teacher, I'm good at teaching, I'm just, I just haven't actually, uh, I, I won't necessarily be able to say, I mean, you may be able to, I don't, but you know, you, you, you can say, well, I, I don't necessarily know what is the 
future perfect continuous or something like that. And yeah. if you ask me, I may not know the answer to that. However, that won't stop me correcting you because I know what's correct or not being a native speaker because it's just automatic what sounds right and what doesn't. I can tell you what's correct or not. So, uh, so you know, uh, you may you may say because I'm kind of changing into English and, and it's good to learn grammar. Uh, there's a good website, um, EnglishClub.com, uh, which has a lot of uh, free. Thank you for uh, that. Uh, grammar data. So that's actually where I learned all my data uh, from about uh, uh, 13 years ago. Um, and if you go to the grammar section, it's kind of quite straightforward, um, although making it more so. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, but I, I would say just be transparent. I mean, probably it wouldn't have been such an issue because um, I'm just saying because we're live, um, we're going to see if there's two, oh, two people listening, not many, but normally actually uh, sort of um, uh, maybe uh, there'll be 500 views or, or this is much more interesting. Normally I'm just sort of uh, talking to myself, which is probably pretty boring to most people uh, <laughs> on Facebook live, um, you know, in general, maybe specifically here. And uh, anyway, but, uh, uh, but, but now because it's a conversation with, with people, it's much more interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I watch actually like political videos online a lot. I'm just in politics uh, from a UK uh, pol uh, political kind of presenters on YouTube. Um, and then sometimes they kind of have a Zoom group, and I've just realized how they're doing it now, uh, how they managed to do it. And then, then they stream it like direct, directly onto YouTube, and I've only got about 800 or something subscribers. Not, it's, it's a very small amount, I think, for YouTube, so people wouldn't kind of maybe see it. Uh, but I realized, but it's much more interesting when they have like a group of eight people or something like that. Um, so uh, maybe that's what I'll uh, start doing. And uh, But anyway, this will probably be seen by, you know, I've got like 20 groups and two pages with about, uh, you know, the pages got like 40, 30,000 likes or whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm popular. Uh, and, and, <laughs> I'm going to uh, be a celebrity thanks to you. Yeah, well, <laughs> if you've got a, if you've got a um, web page, uh, by all means, you can, you can reset it or something like that, and, or email if you want to set. Um, so I'm more than happy. And, uh, uh, and then also got uh, about 20 groups uh, with, I think my IELTS group is about um, over 35,000 members. So this will be wow. going, this is uh, going to that. But the thing is actually, um, it doesn't, um, uh, a lot of people don't see it. So anyway, it may be 500 to 1,000 views or, or something like that. Uh, uh, so anyway. Um, and I well, I appreciate what you said, because honestly, I think that's probably what I should start uh, approaching more when I'm gaining my new students is having that honesty and, and that transparency of where I really might not remember every grammatical little nitpicky thing that we studied when we were in elementary school because right. it's been very it's been a very long time but in the sense of I am a native speaker and I do know what sounds right. correct and I can right. help in grammar in the sense of maybe a more conversational style than actually being able to give you the details and the full explanation but I definitely um, can obviously send links or websites to break that down further but I think that yeah. definitely could help me out a lot more to have that transparency of letting people know that I am not a grammar specialist but I do know what is correct and what is right. incorrect being the fact that I am a native speaker and um have been only speaking English my whole life. And also the fact that I'm now currently learning a second language, I can kind of relate to some of the struggles and um, frustrations there are with trying to adapt to a new language. But I really appreciate what you had said about that, about maybe being more transparent and being more upfront and honest in the sense of what I'm actually here to do and assist you with. So I really appreciate that. I'm saddened by the fact that I do have an, a class that I'm actually about to teach in three minutes. So I will have to depart, <laughs> but I would love to come to another Q and A yeah, and um, get more information because there are many more questions I would love to ask, but oh, yeah. unfortunately I'm limited well, to- um, I'll time. put my um, email, but um, but well, my website um, uh, is onlineenglishteacher.com. Um, so 